What's up everyone? Uh, it's Sunday. It is uh, one o'clock. <laughs> so we've been a little lazy. Finally got out of the truck. Uh, we're gonna do laundry. I'm gonna take a quick shower, uh, get cleaned up and stuff like that. <laughs> it's my second time doing 34 here. I really like it here. Uh, I was kind of pissed off. I didn't wake up in time to get McDonald's. <laughs> you guys know I love McDonald's, but I made my own bacon and eggs. So that's what I have for breakfast and lunch. Uh, I'm not a big uh, breakfast person anyway, so uh, it's pretty cold here. It's been raining on and off all day, so I haven't got a chance to do anything outside to clean the truck. I like to organize that box uh, the days I don't go home. Like next weekend, I'm going home, so usually this is the weekend I usually just try to touch it up. It takes like 30 minutes, but it looks like we're not going to be able to do it, so uh, I'm going to do laundry right now. I'm going to take a shower. And then uh, just relax and play video games all night. Truck's already clean, so we're not gonna do that. So we'll see you guys later. Good morning, everybody. It is 5.30, we're rolling out of here. Uh, Google says they're open at seven, but when I called the reception, the front desk lady, she said they're there at six. So I'm just gonna roll in there uh, right at uh, six o'clock. We're on about 35 minutes from where we need to drop. Um, so we're gonna leave right now. It's been raining on and off. It's still raining as you guys can see. And this guy that uh, strapped his load wrong, <laughs> it's still not here. And I'm surprised no one took his damn trailer and load. <laughs> but, um, and yes, I did shave. So, uh, had a good 34, got a lot done. Got some videos edited, so uh, still behind. <laughs> like always but uh looks like i'm gonna finally catch up uh, because i would probably have three two videos behind right now so I definitely i'm gonna edit and when i go home i'll have all the videos edited and i'll just drop them while i'm at home so i really want to catch up guys it's just really hard it's just the time you know so um ugh. But more like we'll get a load going to Arizona or something back down home. So not too big of a hurry. We're only about like two days from here, 1,200 miles to home. So I'm hoping not go home too early. But like I said, they want to send me home Thursday night. Fine with that. Uh, but don't want to go home too early. So <laughs> uh, but we're going to roll out here, guys. I'm a little tired. I need to get some monsters and some coffee. <laughs> Mondays always suck. So uh, we're going to roll out here, guys, and we'll see you in the port of Tacoma. What's up everyone? We're here in the port of Tacoma. Uh, it's a straight shot of this road to this place. I just hope there's no fences or anything. I looked, didn't see anything, but you never know with the port. Um, we're about 1.3 miles. Never been here. Interesting, I've never delivered Tacoma in a long time. It's been a while since I've been out here. So, kind of cool. As you guys know in Central Oregon, I, always, I said before, never understood why I never come up here. <laughs> I'm always in New Mexico, Arizona, Nevada area, Texas. I hardly come up here. To the place on the right. And you see, foot ship receiving. Do I go straight? Do I go right? But that sign says exit. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go find out. My forklift driver here has helped me <laughs> chain. Uh, we just got a uh, tarp rolled up. 
Uh, Tar, please help me out. <laughs> I appreciate it. All right now, look at him. Hey, you guys, I know I suck at this. <laughs> Hold on, let me zoom out. I know I suck at this, guys. Can't find my head cam. Uh, but this guy helped me. Look at He hung all my chains up. Bungees helped me untarped. And everything. Roll, he even took this tarp and rolled it up there for me. You see, he hung it right there. I just can't find my head cam. I don't know what's going on, but love this place, man. I'm doing a great job. I found my head cam. <laughs> uh, this is why I hate all chain loads, guys. You gotta take everything out because I put my Colorex right down there, as you can see. And so, but it's cool because you can reorganize, make it look all pretty again. Uh, shout out to this forklift driver, man. Best forklift driver I've ever had. I mean, I had some good forklift drivers, but like I said in the video, look at he hung my chains all nice. He hooked it up to the top like most drivers want it. He did everything like we like to do it. I had to ask him how to do it. So this lumber is gonna go that way. Okay. And we don't, so we don't do this too often. So. I just get enough coils in there uh, to get my bucket and everything back in there. Okay, this should give us enough to put our chains and everything back. Okay. See how this bucket? Get all the way back there, and then this is where all my edge protectors are. Go right in here. Perfect. I can start putting some away. Always back up when he's unloading, just in case. Thank you, man. <laughs> I'm in a great, great mood right now. This made my day. We're out of here in less than 30 minutes, guys. Glad I had this chain load. We got her quicker.
here for now. This can go there. This can go here. And all this. Hey, what was that guy's name? The forklift driver that helped me. Scott Lockwood. Scott? Okay. Lockwood? Okay. He's pretty good, isn't he? I've done this for five years. That's probably top 10 best forklift driver. I love that guy. We try to take good care of you guys. Some guys don't. At this, at at this place? Shop, it's a big deal to me. Okay. We try to take good care of the truckers. I love that because it's like we get out of your way quicker and we get out and everybody's happy. He's good. Okay. But yeah. All right. Oh, thank you. Perfect. All right, let's get out of here. Uh, we're gonna go over here, so. So make sure, let's do one more walk around. Make sure we look good. Start the truck, get the air up. All right. So if you guys watch this, Scott, whatever, thank you, man. I really appreciate it. You done good, man. <laughs> one of my favorite uh, forklift drivers. So I always do one more walk around. Make sure there's nothing. Everything's tied down, strapped down. Okay, seal lock, let's go. What's up everyone? We are here. I suck at getting all my shit together. <laughs> uh, I think we're in Burlington, Washington. We're here at the Sierra Pacific. I think this is the right way. <laughs> Looks like it's the right way. Looks like the only way we're gonna find out. <laughs> I think it's the right way. Uh, I didn't say in the beginning, but this load is going to the Lowe's DC, right by my house in Buttemont, California. Been there several times. Uh, I feel like I've been here before with Prime, but I'm not sure. Kinda looks familiar. Uh, let's see. Check it out, guys. Wanna grab this load, tarp it, and get out. We gotta try to make it by Wednesday. It says that's 900 miles from here, so we gotta really hump it today and tomorrow. I wanna try to stay the night there. Okay, do we do anything here? What do we have to do? Read all these crazy signs. Uh, shipping channel one, one, okay. All right. You guys gotta follow these directions. Sierra Pacific, there's nobody in there. Maybe there's somebody in there. Shipping, do you copy? Here we go. In the back, shipping and receiving in the back of building. Okay, I think we stop right here then. I think we're gonna stop right here. <laughs> Must be my radio. I don't know. <laughs> I, keep I keep talking back to you and I get nothing and nothing. I'm like, what the hell? Maybe I'll go cool? look at it. Maybe it's my it's my fault. <laughs> could be both. Um it could be both. Uh, what do you need? A pickup number? Yeah, 28 pickup number. Uh, two. Got you checked in. Okay. Where are you parked at right now? Right over there. Okay, yeah, right. yeah. Are you pointing that way? Yeah. Okay, so take the road you're on all the way down. Okay. You're going to hit the log yard where you can safely turn around. Uh-huh. Back up the same road. 
Okay. And right at the end of the lumber units there before the walkway, mm -hmm. you're going to see a large version of that sign that explains our PPE rules. Okay. Just okay. park right there. So once you get to the log, you're just going to turn around. You're, and you're then... going to turn around and come right up, stack okay. up the same road. Okay. Yep. All, all right. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Cool. Kind of got it. Kind of got it. I think it's that one right there. <laughs> all right, guys. There's nobody here. We're the only truck, and we're getting pulled in right now. Love it, love it. Hopefully it's quick. We can get out of here, say by noon. It's 10.15 right now. It all depends how fast he loads us. Uh, it'll take me about an hour, hour and a half to secure it and tarp it. So we can get out here at noon, that'll be perfect. And then we have about seven and a half hours of driving. So maybe get shut down by eight. And then roll out. We're gonna try to make this appointment. We should be able to. Uh, I might, I gotta look at everything, but I might um, stay at Lebec and let traffic die down and jog in at night, because you can stay at night at Lowe's. So maybe later on tonight, tomorrow night, I'll jog it in, it doesn't matter. <laughs> or I could just shut down Lebec and then jog it in early, early in the morning. Whichever works, we'll see. I'd rather just go at night when there's no traffic. Could go home if I wanted to. <laughs> That's another thing, but there's no point. No point. Uh, they're gonna need the whole trailer, so I got everything off. Uh, he said there's a 50 footer somewhere, so I'll trust these guys. There's a reason for that gap, and we're gonna watch it. But this guy looks like he knows what he's doing. You can always tell right away. Well, it's a good forklift driver or not. It looks like he's pretty good. How high are we going? Come this way, yeah, right there. Yeah. You're gonna just get a lot of different sizes, different everything. I'm surprised how big this place is. It's not a lot of trucks here on a Monday too, so Mondays usually are. But you can tell this guy's really good. He's trying to do everything perfect, line it all up. I like forklift drivers that do that. Try to be perfect. You guys can get in trouble if it's over the rub rail. You guys can't get in trouble if they want to be a big dick. Okay, so yeah, I was wondering why he didn't have that close. Got that guy. Is there a guy, if you guys can see it in that claw, there's like a box or something in there. Is he really in there? That's a cool job to have.
six. Are we on flat ground? Okay. Is this pretty flat? Yeah. Right now we're over like a couple thousand on the drives. On uh, the front? Yeah. Uh, I'll move everything, uh, those 20s and 16s, I'll move it back. Okay. I'll just kind of even it out. Okay, all right. We're on 77. So we're right at 70. Good right there. Okay, yeah, we're good right there. All right, you have to tarp this, do you know? Uh, tarp this station is more like on the exit, that way, on the driveway, that one down that road. Okay, what yeah. do we, we have to strap it and then go over there to get our paperwork from her again, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, then I can go all the way down there and then tarp it? Sure. Okay, all right, can you help me get those up then? Just put all of them in the middle. All these, can you just put them in the middle? Yeah, right there in between, yeah. I think I'm gonna do all this down the street. Can I, can I go check in with, can I go check with her and then do all the strapping and tarping down there or do you want me to put some straps on this? No, okay, I'll do that. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And tarp, right? Yes. Flows. Okay. <laughs> How do you pull those? Okay, I'm keeping one. Okay, this one's mine? That one yours and that one yours. Okay. Thank you. I get one. Okay, perfect. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. Uh All right, guys, here's the load. Let's get this pretty simple. And now we're on the flat ground. <laughs> I'm gonna check this one more time. And we're good, okay. Right at about 70, 71. I'm gonna get this thing weighed because I want to get that thing perfect. So. Maybe we'll put one right there. Okay, we'll put three on here. Uh, okay. So we're gonna put most, most of our Paramount straps right here in the front. Uh, I want to put one more right here where all the tarps are. We'll throw that. So where all these tarps are, um, we'll uh, throw this strap. Okay. And then this one. 
here in the front this one right here I have to probably use a four inch ratchet because we can't fit a stick pocket in there so two coming this way we'll have four of this we'll have one more coming this way so it's a one two four one there it's four I one more there so one three five let's do that because of this piece so we'll go here Here, right down, and then one back here. Okay. All right, so that's how we're gonna do it. It's four on this bundle. There'll be five. This one's coming down on this piece. So you got three coming down there. Three, so the bottom piece has three. That has three. Up top has four. The other side has four. Uh, we'll throw this one. I like it right here. Then this bottom piece uh, will have four. And then this one we'll go right here okay so it's four ten that's perfect if you want to put one more you can uh, I think we're good though on that okay all right let's get this thing strapped down I mean uh get strapped down and then we'll do a tarp got this rolled out Drop it like it's hot. I don't know why you guys complain about tarping. Just roll it, drop it like it's hot, and just tie it down. Drop, drop, drop it like it's hot. It's my first time gonna see these tarps. With the YouTube name on both sides. Ready? Boom. All right. Uh, let's fix this. So always when you're up here, you drop it, get to the far back, get the wrinkles out, so you make it nice and pretty. Uh, make it pretty. All the way. See like that? And then you can always pull what you need back. It's a lot easier to pull back. Okay, just a little bit down. You just want a little bit. Oh my god, look at that. Oh baby. Did I pull too much? Should be good. Okay, so when you guys do this, don't hook up there. See where it's straight right now? You want to hook this first. Pull on it, and then go up. Like that. Okay, you see how that keeps it nice and square? I'll show you guys one more time. This is key. This is where guys law make this is where guys make mistakes and they balloon the shit out of this. Is right here. So you want to find the D ring that keeps it straight, like up here. You see that? So you want this one. And you pull on it. Okay, this is longer. You probably need.
Okay. Then you're gonna tuck this in. And then when you guys roll the tarp and you have the same thing over, just grab that and hook it. See that? And you're just gonna hook it. But there's gonna be a tarp right over this. So you guys can do that. I might show you. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get to that point, but we'll see. This is Oh yeah, we can. There we go. We don't want the hook to stick out. It'll puncture our tarp. Okay, and pull on it. See, it stretches out nicely. Okay, we'll roll this up. This is fine. Let's go roll the other tarp. Our job might come out all right. Mike, here's the question. See, when you have that drop, this thing will rest nicely on top of that one. That's where it gets dangerous. <laughs> it's harping. Just gotta memorize where everything is. This might work out really good. Maybe. <laughs> Straighten this one out. Oh, this might work out perfect. We'll see. <laughs> okay. Pull this. We got it. Ha! Huh. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> I love these tarps, man. Roy, thank you, man. Don't see canvas. Thank you, man. Ain't gonna let you down. Look at these bad boys. Dang. So we need to push on the other side. I want to get this nice and perfect. I want it so perfect. Oh, what is that? That's cool. Oh, this might come out good. Oh, so pretty. And then, I'm gonna grab this top one. Just go back. This, and then go up. There you go. See that? Oh, that thing looks so good. I love tarping, y'all. I hope the try again. Let's try it again. Okay. All right. Let's get this thing tied down. Let's get out of here, guys. Uh.
guys, this is dinner. This is gonna be leftover for lunch. I made a rice, garlic rice with chicken. This is how I make it. Tell you guys, this is my number one tool right here. I cook everything on this electric skillet, like 80% of my food. So, this is dinner. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, everybody. It is 5.45, we're rolling out of here. Um, we're good on time. Uh, plan is to be shut down by five the latest so we're gonna run as hard as we can and then that in turn we can leave at three in the morning and then uh try to get to lowe's dc by 7 30 8 o'clock uh on wednesday so we're still making good time to make that appointment for lowe's but we gotta help it uh plan on being shut down by five uh maybe even less because you guys think about 11 hour drive uh plus a 30 so uh we're gonna get rolling right now like i said we should be shut down we're gonna shut down by five and then um go from there so i don't know where a whole day of drive from here at this rest area i don't even know where i'm at <laughs> it's just some rest area before roseburg uh, but we're gonna get going and um let you guys know what's up everyone we are here at the one nine with the my favorite one nine here guys my Number one, one nine. <laughs> uh, it's got really good Mexican food. Great showers, like big showers. It's my favorite track stop. Uh, it is in Avenel, California. Avenel, California. Uh, it doesn't fill up till late too, so if you guys come here. Good Mexican food, they got Subway, they got Cinnabon. Showers are it's one of those new ones where they have like two shower heads and it's really big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you guys say I don't stop at a stop sign, but I'm looking over here to the left for oncoming traffic. I don't see any. I'm not going to stop my momentum when I'm heavy because then it takes forever to keep going. So I kind of just like roll through it a little bit. I'm always looking to the left for any cars or trucks. Right here on the dirt, there's so much parking here. And we're backed up in here. Uh, I got like three minutes now, four minutes, so we need to hurry up and get in here. Good morning, everybody. It's 345, we're gonna roll out of here. Uh, we're 262 miles away from the lows. Um, I think LA is about 200, 220 miles, I think, away. So I think we're gonna be good on traffic. I hope, <laughs> that's gonna be the biggest key. Uh, like I said, appointment's not until 10, so even say it takes five hours to get there, we should be there right at like I said, nine o'clock the latest. And that gives us an hour to untar, untrap and all that and be ready by 10 o'clock. So look pretty good. I don't know what the plan is. Uh, I'll probably call Peter. Um, see if there's like a quick short load I can do for a day and a half where I can pick up today, you know, deliver 300 miles down the road or something. And then pick up another load and take it home. So I'm hoping, but might go home really early. I don't know. We'll see. It's going to be interesting. But there's a lot of short loads that will go to like Phoenix or Vegas and then get a load back. So we'll see how that works out. And then, um, and yeah, so, so far we're looking pretty good. Um, so like that. So yeah. And then also, guys, when you watch this video, you guys already see like the Central Oregon new higher pay you guys are all over the place with it so am i you know but at the end of the day i i can look at things and say like it really isn't a pay cut but it's a pay structure change uh if you guys really look at it it is 64 cents a mile still um but you got to earn it and i know people hate that and it does suck when you're a company that starts at a certain pay and then you change it it does send a ripple effect. And like I said, I don't always agree with everything. I'm not here to be like, oh, well, you're gonna get 
fired for what you said, so that's why you're backtracking. I'm not backtracking. I can look at somebody's side and say, okay, I can see why you did it. I don't agree, maybe, but I can see where you're coming from and understand it. So, like I said, it is what it is. It's their company. You guys don't like it. Don't come here. If you do you want to come, come. I've talked to people that want to still come here and they're fine with it. So, and it's still top pay in this industry um, for starting out. Like most companies start at 52, 54, May 56. You find something better, good. Those are like the in between of like the 10% that you'll find that pays better in Central Oregon, you know? <laughs> it's just, I lay the facts out, you guys can come here or not, and that's it, you know? So, I'm gonna roll out here, guys, so we'll probably see you, um, probably see you guys at Lowe's, DC. What's up, everyone? We're here at the Lowe's, DC. Lowe's, DC, right there to your right. I miss coming here. <laughs> I love this Lowe's. You can stay the night here and everything. They're pretty quick some, most of the time. Some of my friends said, you know, they do take you early sometimes, sometimes they don't, but it is what it is. We're about an hour and a half on time. It's 8.30, our appointment's at 10. Looks like they're gonna build something over here. Yes, sir. And it should be up here on the right. The cool thing about here too is like when you get unloaded and you're waiting for, waiting for a load, your next load, you can just park it over here. Easy. Lowe's DC flatbed division. Ugh. And I always stay to the far right. Okay, so other people need to get through. All right, let's go get checked in, guys. How you doing? Hi. One moment. Yeah. You still work here? <laughs> it's been a while. Your appointment's for tomorrow at nine. Are you serious? Okay, yeah, I got on here 5 1 at 10. They don't even have an appointment. Okay, you have nothing today? No, no. Okay, all right. Okay, I'll call. All right. What's up, guys? So I'm here at home. Um, you guys are Claremont, California. They got this packing house with all this good food. Look at that. I got country fried steak, I got uh, jalapeno sausage, brisket and green beans. Uh, when they tell me to go home, I'm going home. <laughs> so more likely uh, that I can get an appointment until Monday, but I did tell them like Thursday, anytime Thursday and Friday early morning, because I have a lot to do on Friday. So I don't know what I'm gonna do for the next two days, but maybe I'll try to get my medical car done and stuff like that but um gonna be drinking and hanging out and you give me this much days but we're gonna roll out monday uh i have a little bit of things to do in the morning but i told them i'll roll out monday afternoon so if they give me a low thursday i might try to talk to pete and uh pick up a load also on thursday and then keep that and then uh roll out monday whenever i get done uh, my baby mama, I have her dog, and uh, she doesn't get back till Monday, so I told her I was gonna watch her dog over the weekend, which is my son's dog too, but uh, I'll watch him over the weekend and then drop drop her off Monday morning, so, and drop myself at school, so that's gonna be the plan. So we'll see. I'm gonna give Pete a call here probably tomorrow and figure that out. So uh, we'll have a good four and a half days here at home, and I'll try to do a video, maybe just dropping it off, 
And if we do pick up a load, I'll do a video on that. But if we don't, we're not delivering until Monday. We'll see you guys Monday. <laughs> Have a good one. Peace out, y'all.